just about set to go now. Starting on the mound in this one, Sean Jelly. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Four, Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Come back her to the mound. Tosses to first. Out. And they get out to Bay for the out. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger yeah, into ball. two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Jeremy Pena in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One out, base is empty. There's a swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One gone runner at first. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. one ball. Jelly, no the strike. tall righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. The 1-0. -oh. Smash to center way back, and you can forget it. Home run. gigantic blast just like that they move in front it's two nothing you can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead just an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the back that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here so one out, nobody on. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. First Too offering, high. and it just misses. The pitch. Last ball for a strike. And now it's one and two. two and two. another ball. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. In there safely. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for a league speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn this into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it. Now here's the Astros' designated hitter. And that's outside. Left-hand hitter waits. That's so ball. two balls and no strikes. Yeah. 
two runs across in the inning and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Good eye right there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. The pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Runners on the corners with one gone. And the batter now, Gaynor Diaz. Oh, great stop from his backside. Here's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, there are guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle. He gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Here's the rookie right fielder, Trey Cabbage. On the ground to first. He takes it himself Out. to the bag, and that'll do it. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Astros three, and the Giants coming up. Back here with my pal Siggy. And towing the slab, Sean Dubin. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Austin Slater in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Next yep. offering is in for a strike. Lined into right. Cabbage makes the grab one down. Here's the Giants lineup. Some power, but low on base and ranking towards the bottom in runs per game. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Here's Elliot Ramos. Pitches in the dirt, and that is ball one. High fly ball out to left field. Alvarez in position. And there's two down. Batting third. The second base. Two outs, base is empty. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Inside, just missed. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. And that extends the inning. Four. Four. The third now it's game. Matt Chapman. Matt. Matt. Chapman. Move to first. And he dives okay. back in safely. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some no. length on the secondary lead and perhaps one score ball. a ball no in the shot. gap. Oh 
two outs. That yeah. one catches the zone and a count even at one. Ball and two. another ball. Two ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Two it's ball. two and two. two oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel ball. to. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused ball on the four. pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive. It gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So first and second with two outs. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That misses the zone. Ball one. Estrada, the lead runner at second. Chapman at first, two out of the inning. And the next pitch is way outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Here's a high chopper. And that Out. will end the inning. Giants leave a couple. They trail in this one, three nothing. Top of the second, and now Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Jelly back to work, Ball. and the slider just misses. And a swing and a miss there. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Swung on, popped up left side. Fitzgerald settles under it. And there's one down. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy Mauricio. to define what his zone is, Dubon. like you said. Here's Mauricio Dubon. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Gets under and pops it up. Fitzgerald drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now back, second base. Jose. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and it's not a good two. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. 0-2 now. Swing and a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So the Astros leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here in San Francisco, here's the veteran first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores. And a pitch. Here's the strike at the knees. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ballgame. Clips the corner. That is strike two. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Throw to first. Gets him. Oh. 
One away on a drop third strike. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. One down, base is empty. Ball. And ball one. 0 2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone to the fair, but it hooks foul. And here it comes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. And a pitch. Ball. The shortstop takes the ball. 1-1. One, one. And that's one. downstairs and outside. The Strohs leading by three. Bottom half of inning number two. That one fouled off. Two and two. Stays alive. Here's a 2 2. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. 1 2 3. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here at Oracle Park and now it's going to be Jordan Alvarez as a batter he's known for performing better in these night games he might start two for two in this one no, off the mark the there and it's one to no. know swing and a miss and he really one saws ball. the change one up strike. with that arm action ball to strike and that one, one missing inside That's a strike, two. and it's two and two. And Hold another down. ball. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. Yeah. I mean, this guy's just capable of hitting pitches down. outside of the zone and Three. driving them a long way. Man at first. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Righty to the plate. In the air, left side. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Alvarez around second. The relay, oh, not going to get him. He's in there. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Now, Put a pretty good swing on that one, one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And now the DH 
He reached out a walk his first time. In the air, left field. Slater gets under it. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's 4 nothing. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Gainer Diaz, the next to hit. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. There's a strike up high. 0 and 1. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering upstairs. Way out front for strike two. One ball. Man, that two was strike. pretty gross right there. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Yo. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fly ball to right. Yastrzemski calls it in to away. The bat, the, the right fielder, right field. Trey, Trey Cabbage. Cabbage. Now it's the right fielder, Trey Cabbage. 0 for 1 so far. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 1. No. And there's a ball. Rudder breaks for third. A little roller up along foul. first, and that's just foul. Not close with that one, and the count's even at two. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss struck him out. A run, a hit, and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Astros four and the Giants nothing. And we're back. Leading Set off. for the bottom of the third. Here's Kirk Casale. Kirk. 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 And the pitch. Just Ball. off outside. the outside edge. One and oh. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. That's Ball. inside. And a count two and one. Ball and three. another ball. Full count. And that's ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough advance? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Slater takes a ball as he stands in for the second time.
Next offering is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. So now one and two. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll it to a double play. Righty delivers. Got it by him for the K. And up next for the up Giants, next, Elliot down. Ramos. The center fielder. Elliot Ramos. In the air out to center. Myers drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two down. So up next, up next Tyro down Estrada. Down. One the for one with a single so far. Tyro Estrada. There's the strike. Now the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep into counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Line drive, fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Casali, round second on his way to third. And that's a two out double. Around third. Now a relay to the plate, and he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning. Welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jose Abreu. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And that's ball one. one ball. Well, these no Astros strike. showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they play. Can't glove it cleanly, but the throw to first gets out. him easily, and that's the first out. Now, now third base, Mauricio Dubon. And stepping in for the Astros, Mauricio Dubon. Glide out his first time. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. That one the other way. Calls it in, and there's two away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. First one. pitch is in the dirt. 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. This is important. If he can go 1 2 3 here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Swings and misses, struck him out. One, two, three, go the Astros. They lead it four to nothing. Bottom four, and digging in for San Francisco, Matt Chapman. It's interesting Matt. he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting ah. someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. 
That's pitches downstairs. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two Way one. high there. Two and one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And he deals. Rip to third. Over to Abreu. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Yeah, Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Jorge. Good execution. Jorge Soler, the next giant to hit. Grounded out his first time. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. At the belt and fires. Ball one, one there. Got him swinging. And now it's Wilmer now Flores. He's over one. Wilmer. Flores, 32 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right through there for a strike. Pitch. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Three up, three down for him there. We played four. It's the Astros four and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The shortstop, Jeremy. The wine of the pitch. Pena. Off the plate, and that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Number 73, getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Kicks and fires. No. Off the mark there, and that's ball two. And that one fouled off. Now all even up. Just misses the mark outside the zone. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself oh, into a good count. Oh, nice oh, job oh, of driving oh, that oh, pitch oh, the oh, other way on oh, a run. Oh, you know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Sean Jelly will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New now, arm on the mound when we get back. Number 73, Number 73 on the pitch here. Ready. He's having a ton of success oh, facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with the lefty at the plate. So, man aboard, your Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And he'll one. That one ball. missed. 
That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now the Man at first, and stepping in is the speedy Jake Myers. Move to first. Pena gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Run around the goal. Pitch is low. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. This one in the air right field. And there's two away. Now back at it. Number 28. So now the Astros designated hitter. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in to score from second, and the lead is up to five. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you can drive the ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. Man at second here with two away. Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. That oh. one's upstairs, ball one. And that is ball one. Right-handed reliever. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And a miss as he was late that time. One wow, ball. good luck Three catching strike. up to that one. Runner at second, two down. And we're at the top of the fifth. Oh. And the slider just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double, and the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Francisco, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. No Meanwhile, strike. activity in the bullpen. Hunter Brown, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Valdez, a left-hander, also throwing. The 0-1. Right through there for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Yeah, the count one and two. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, well, that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing, a high fly ball, pretty well 
struck right field. To the warning track, makes the catch. Now batter, catcher, Kirk. Two outs, base is empty. Kirk Casale, the next giant to hit, worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Slice down the right side. Fastball for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Next pitch misses way outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And here it comes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. Giants go down quietly, still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in, Trey Cabbage. And the right-hander back to work. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one lifted to left. One down. Up next, oh, the Jose, Jose Abreu up to hit. Jose Abreu. Ball. First pitch misses. Just missed. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Right hander kicks deals. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. A massive home run. His second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's six nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty, one away. Now the third baseman, Mauricio Dubon. Pitch ball. misses, ball one. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're the top half of the sixth. Hey. That clips the corner. There's a strike. Fouls it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Now that, that, Here's the former that, MVP, Jose Altuve. Jose. Outfield Altuve. playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. The bat. And the next Joker. to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Pena. There's a the strike. No ball. One strike. Altuve, the runner at first with two gone. Close, but called a ball. And one and one. Ah. Swing! 
swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One Clearly ball. He was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They get the first. And that is the inning. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter, Austin Slater. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even yeah. shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Ryan Presley up and loosening in the pen. And the righty deals. Just no, missed. Swing and a miss, and that one missed one, by two. a ton. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Next two, offering two. way off the plate. Wouldn't Full chase count. that time. Punch out there. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. The he gets the out. Elliot. And up next for San Francisco, Elliot Ramos. Ball and ball one. one. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. And he hits a ground ball right side. Altuve That's slings out. to first. Two up, two down. Now that second base is Tyro. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for the Giants, Tyro Estrada. That no, just misses. Inside. And it's 1-0. Oh. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks a lot in. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Matt Chapman. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. The biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. Well, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. To third, tag, got him. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. One left for San Francisco. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tyler Rogers. Now, and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this ball. year. The numbers Tyler. stack up with some of the best in the game. Roger. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's already homered in this game. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. The pitch gets the call. It's 0-1. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very oh, comfortable. No. Because he has the ability to get the barrel one, one. to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And that just misses. Gets it misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him the looking, center, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Myers, the next to hit, takes outside. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Jackson, a right-hander, loosening up as well. One down, base is empty. And that one wrapped foul. Here comes a pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Now that that front one. shoulder coming Number open one. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Rodgers, 33 years old, and he was a 10th round pick. Back in 2013. Left hand batter waits. And yeah, that's oh. a little high. The Astros up big in this one. Here the top half of inning number seven. Oh. And another ball. In for a strike, three and one. it off you'll see another two down nobody on battling here as he fouls it away ninth pitch of the at bat due next and he walked it it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over the first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side no. of it. Diaz stands in now looks one at out. that one inside. In for a strike and a count one and one. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Swings oh, through it, and that's a strikeout. One left for Houston. They lead it, though, 6 in. And we're back. Bottom of the seventh. Now, here is Jorge Soler. And a pitch. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. No. That one inside. One and one. One ball. One strike. And That's misses the ball. inside. Oh. And a swing and a miss. Two ball. Two strikes. And a pitch. To the right side. 
Over to Abreu. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now back, first baseman, Wilbur Flores. So digging in, Wilmer Flores. Up and in, and that's ball one. Bases empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. And that's off the inside edge. Two and oh. Foul ball. Ball, and that one missing down. low. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The right field, number five. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Sean Dubin out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. And Framber Valdez into the game. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Valdez. Mike Yastrzemski up here, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Ball and the first down. pitch misses for ball one. Ball and that one is inside. inside. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Swing and a miss, and it's 2 and 1 now. One Knowing strike. that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, ball that's three. a no no. That's off the mark. Now 3 and 1. Right through there for a strike. Look out. The pitch. Line to left, and it stays fair. Flores around second, headed for third. And he's got a double. Back to back base hits. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Second and third, one gone. And here is Tyler Fitzgerald. And he swings and misses at the initial offer. No ball. One strike. And now the lefty, ball. the shortstop takes a ball. Flores, the runner at third. Yastrzemski over at second with one down. Two. Swing and a miss. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Two on, one out. And two, two. that one is in the dirt. Two and two. Missed okay. inside with the curb. Three and two. Payoff pitch. In the air. Out towards left center. Makes the catch. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sack fly. It's 6-1. So two down now, and here is Kirk Casale. A strikeout and a walk. Down. 
That ball. misses. One and oh. One ball. No strike. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Myers moving under this one. That is the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Astros six and the Giants one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Luke Jackson. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Now it's going to be Trey Cabbage. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. A wide to kick the pitch. Slider misses outside. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. To third. Sends it across out. the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now back the first base, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu will hit next. One for three. And no, a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. No. Just missed. Flips yeah. the corner, and it's two and one. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. One down, base is empty. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Ramos on the move to the gap. Makes the grab on the run. Out number two. Now that, that, the third base team. Mauricio, Mauricio Dubon, Dubon up next for the Astros. Fastball for a strike. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And that's a fair ball. Now back, back. The second so ball. next up for Houston, Jose Altuve. That misses, and that is ball one. One ball, no strike. Wouldn't chase that time. And that's yeah. through there for a strike. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. No one, no strikes. Well, Just dude. missed. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. First and second, two down. And we're in the top of the eighth.
And that one lifted in the air center field. Ramos makes the play. And that is that. Two left for the Astros. They lead it though 6-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Austin Slater stands in. Slater. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-1. And there's a ball. Now fly ball to right center. Myers on the move. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Out to short, Pena. Over to first. Out. Now two out. The bat. The, the second baseman. Tyro. So up next, Tyro Estrada. Three for three with three singles. In the dirt, ball one. One ball, no strike. Two down, nobody on. And you that won. one almost got him. Good eye in that spot. Next offering is in for a strike. The Strohs leading by five. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Giants down in order. They trail it 6 1. Taylor Rogers into the game. He's got to be a little tough coming in out of the when your guys are trailing so good on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but. He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And stepping in for the Astros, you're Don Alvarez. Alvarez. As the lefty gets to work, foul ball there. And yeah, now the 0 1. Ball 1 1 there. Outside low, and it's two and one. Swing and a ball popped up. Settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, oh, that no, pitch was yeah. right down the middle. The I think he got a little too excited, yeah, yeah. came out of his mechanics, Myers. and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Myers, Outside, ball. the next to hit, takes ball one. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Base is empty, one away here in the top of the night. And 
And that one's a little bit low. And a count two and one. Gets a piece and stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Ball just three. off the outside part of the plate. Okay. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. The bat, bat number 28. And next is the designated hitter. That one fouled off. And now the count is even. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. That was blasted to the moon. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add on. It's 7-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Base is empty with two away. At the play, Yainer Diaz. That one at the knees for a strike. And he deals to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Got a pretty ugly offer going into this game up until that at bat, so a little sigh of relief there. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now, Trey Cabbage. Ball one. And ball one to the right fielder. That one's in there. That's strike one. Diaz off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Astros notch a run on the solo homer. And the lead is stretched to 7-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back here at Oracle Park. Matt shot. Chapman up to the plate now. The third baseman, Matt, Matt. Chapman. Matt. Valdez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That will back up the middle and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, it's just a total no, no, no. nightmare no, no, no. for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, no, no, no. there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Solaire in the box now. No oh, balls and a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And here it comes. No, that's and it's the ball. even up. One ball. Nobody out. Right. Runner at first. High chopper to third. Over to Altuve. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 okay. okay. double plays brings back some great adrenaline. Great. It's such Real an exciting world. play, and it's always a great oh, reminder yeah. of baseball being such a team sport. One out left for the Giants. And now the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Fought off foul. The 0-1. Ball. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Ball. That's outside, and it's two and one. Good no. eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. They're down to their final strike. Full count. Valdez is just one strike away. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. It's no tough after the ball behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Yastrzemski in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And strike two. Good late no sink on that Who's fastball. Right? Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. The pitch. Ground ball left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it he to first, it. and he beats it. Everyone safe. So two on with two away. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. There's a strike. The pitch. Strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Out to short. And that'll do it. Dubin with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambu. Thanks for joining us.